Hello, I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com and today I'll teach you some phrasal verbs with the word start. But first I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I finally got a thousand subscribers last week. It took a long time even though I've been working really hard trying to make the best videos I can for a really long time. I hope it takes a lot less time to get my next 1,000 subscribers and to get to 10,000. And the more subscribers I have, the more people I can help with English. Now, if you haven't already done it, then please subscribe and click the bell. And if you would like to learn more English from me and hope, then you can either click the link up, see again, up here or in the description for this video. Now, I'm sure you all know that start as a verb means to begin something, but there are six phrasal verbs with the word start, and the meanings of some of those are a little different, and I'll give you some sample sentences using all of them. The first one is start in or and start in on. Start in can also mean to begin doing something. For example, I took a break from work but then started in again. To start in on means to criticize or complain about someone. For example, he started in on her again about being late all the time. To start off means to begin something in a certain way. For example, my YouTube channel started off slow, but I'm hoping it will grow faster now. And my YouTube channel is just starting off. To start on means to begin doing something. For example, did you start on the English placement test I made yet? Number four is start out. This means to begin something in a specific way, similar to start off. It also can mean to begin to travel someplace. A sample sentence is, I plan to start out early in the morning to get to the airport on time. Number five, start over. This means to begin something again. For example, I made a mistake when I began recording this video and I had to start all over again. Now, you should also know that um, start over is very really commonly used with all and again like I did in that sample sentence. Number six is start up. This means for something to begin to happen. For example, when I started up my YouTube channel, I thought it would be much easier. Or, my car didn't start up this morning, so I was late. There's also a song from the Rolling Stones called Start Me Up, as it's a separable phrasal verb. And a link for that, a video for that, will be in the description for this video. Now, start up, as one word, can also be a noun, and it means a new business. And a sample sentence using that is, it's really difficult to be successful with a startup if you don't have a lot of money for it when you start out with it. Now, if you're serious about learning English, then please take the placement test that I made so I can start helping you. <laughs> Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.